All right, let's begin. Um, suppose that the total profit of a company is y equals px. X units of item or so. What does this mean? So this is the change change at uh, the average change the average change in profit as the uh, uh, number of units sold uh, rises from a to b uh, and then the derivative then is the rate of change in profit per unit time at x suppose that the derivative at 30 equals 5 what is the approximate change in profit um with five uh, an in, uh five increase in five what is the approximate change in profit if the number of items sold increased from 30 to 31 so it's about five thousand dollars thousands of dollars keep forgetting to put the unit in um yeah i think that i think that's fine okay right. um 99 99 okay let's have a look here The graph in the bottom figure models the number of people who have come down with flu two weeks after the initial break in a town with a population of 50,000 citizens. Describe what n dash t represents and how it behaves as t increases. So it's the rate of change. Um, in the number of people uh, with the flu um, per unit week of time at t uh, weeks. And um, it, it's decreasing. What does the drill tell us about how this town is affected by the flu outbreak? Um, basically, how quickly it's spreading. So at the beginning, it's large when T is small because it's, it's spreading rapidly. And then towards the end, it's as uh, small as T is large because most people have contracted the flu and perhaps have recovered or uh, are immune from it or so on. Um, let's check the answer. I'm curious what they say. Uh, 99. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more detailed, but um, it says around about the third week it slows down and then 
around at the fifth week kind of plateaus it's kind of rising rapidly at the beginning begins to level out and then plateaus all right let's see now for the following exercise use the following table which shows the height of saturn 5 rocket for the apollo 11 mission t seconds after launch what is the physical meaning of H dash T? What are the units? Well, this one here. So it's the, as long as height can only be positive, it's the rate of change in height per unit time. In other words, it's the speed upwards in meters per second. Construct a table of values for h dash t and graph both h and h t on the same graph. Hint, for interior points, estimate both the left and right limit and average them. An interior point of interval i is an element of i, which is not an end point of i. All right, I guess this is spreadsheet time. Let's see. Time in seconds, height in meters. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Height, zero, two, four, thirteen, twenty five. 32. Okay, what, what do we want now? Construct a table of values for H dash T and graph both of them on the same graph. Hint for interior points, estimate both the left limit and right limit and average them. An interior point of an interval I is an element of I which is not an end point. Um, okay. So we could have this equal to whoop, that minus that divided by that minus that. So that would be sort of uh, the, the right estimate okay. and then the left uh, well, actually Same thing again. Okay. 
Yeah. Average. Well. Should just be two. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, this is going to be my height derivative in meters per second. So in other words, the speed in meters per second. Okay. And just a second. Sorry. Okay. Now. Um, I'm just curious if I'm doing this right, actually. There will be an answer here. Let's see. 2, 2. 2, 2. 5 and a half, 10 and a half, 9 and a half, and... Oh. I'm off for the last one. That's a bit weird. Oh, I've gone too far. That's why. Now is it seven? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Excellent. I'm very happy. Okay. So construct the table and graph boat on the same graph. Um okay. All right, so I don't know if I can put them on the same graph. In Excel, though, I might have to separate them, I'm afraid. Um, how do I do it now here in Office? Where is it? Insert chart. Here we go. Uh, scatter. Okay. Um, Connect it up. Don't display the legend. X axis is time in seconds, and the Y axis is the height in meters. Okay. Oops. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Now let's uh, put the chart here. Okay. Scatter again. And we'll just put again time in seconds and speed in meters per second. I'm not being careful with my cases. Okay, there we go. There are the, the two graphs there. Uh, the best linear fit to the data is given by that formula where h is the height of the rocket and t is the time it lapsed. From this equation, the term in h derivative graph h with the given data. Oh, I'm, I'm actually doing... Graph both h and h... Okay, it's a separate function, yeah. Graph h with the given data and on a separate coordinate plane graph h dash. Uh. Okay, it's a bit weird, kind of a bit weird now. Uh, the best linear fit to this data is given by that, where h is the height of the rocket in time. From this equation, the term and its derivative, fine. And graph h with the given data with the given data and on a separate coordinate plane graph. Oh graph this line and show the data too. Uh can I 
do that here. Um, I'm not sure. Um, chart. I don't think I can do this with the software I have, at least not easily. Um, I can certainly graph it anyways. And by the way, the derivative now, uh, I can easily calculate because it's, I mean, we can go to the, the 